Hey, what is up YouTube? It's me Blake. Welcome back to the channel. I've got some very exciting content planned for you guys today I'm actually headed to Abilene, Texas to the Texas Diesel Madness event uh, Where they're having a big awesome truck event and it's called the Texas Diesel Madness event But they're also allowing gas trucks as well They're gonna have a test and tune night tonight as well as they're gonna have a dyno competition running through today as well as tomorrow As well as they're gonna be doing some bracket racing tomorrow um, So I thought we'd head out there and actually do the test and tune night tonight as well as enter into the dyno competition just to have a great time and then also uh, also see what the truck will put out on the dyno i've actually been working on the truck getting it cleaned up all week so it's looking awesome and i'm really excited to get out there guys it's actually only an hour and a half away from where i live at so we're actually about to head out right now and i will see you guys at the track those boards right there. Yo guys, we just pulled up. There are so many sick trucks here. Um, so now uh, we're about to just go over there and watch a few races, just watch them run a bit. And then after that, we're just gonna go get in line and get a few passes in. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm gonna be running my truck, so I was just coming to pay. Cool. Tune is finally getting done. It takes so long with this tuner. I do not know why, but man, applying the tunes on this truck really takes a pretty long time. We're good, boys. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. Yo, this thing was rolling an immense amount of coal whenever we were doing the tune. I wish we could have been over here to film it, yo. That thing was going crazy, dude.
How's it going, dude? All right, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Yes, sir. We just talked to him over there at the uh, tent and uh, we got the truck all signed up and everything. Uh, we're about to line up behind this F-250 and once they're done, they're about to put the Eco on there and uh, we're gonna see what this thing puts down. So I'm really excited, guys. Yes, sir.
horsepower. Oh, what the heck? And then uh, torque is 352. Oh, man. Those are actually better numbers than the other one. It's probably the rims, man. The rims are probably killing it. 255 port or horsepower? Yeah. Yeah, we tried, we tried uh, fourth, fifth, third, and back to fifth. Yeah, that's your peak. That's your peak, man. And that time, that time was actually consistently climbing. So this is a shift. Yeah. So, so at that shift, it's saying it has 270, 278 yeah, at right that at, shift. Right at your shift. Mm -hmm. Your shift is only going to have a little bit more horsepower. You know, just take a picture of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, thank you. Yo guys, it is now the next day and we're back home. We had a great time at the Texas Diesel Madness event. My camera ended up dying shortly after seeing that Cummins on the dyno. Uh, so I wasn't able to get any more footage than that for you guys. But like I said, we had a great time seeing all those awesome trucks out there as well as running the truck a few times. And we did have a really good time with the dyno as well, even though we didn't get the numbers that we were expecting. But at the end of the event, they were supposed to do a payout for the dyno winner competition. And they ended up coming back and saying that their dyno was reading inaccurately, at least 100 off of the horsepower. And so they ended up canceling that and giving, giving everyone a refund back for their dyno pulls. So the numbers were not accurate on the dyno, but nonetheless, we still had an awesome time at the event. It was still a really great event. So if you guys uh, liked any part about today's video, please leave me a like as well as a comment down below. And if you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And like I said, thank you guys for watching today's video.